Hello and Namaste. What exactly does quantum physics mean when it says that the universe is not real? After publishing my last video on quantum physics and Vedanta, I have received many questions, some pertaining to quantum physics and some pertaining to Vedanta. This is the most frequently asked question. What exactly does quantum physics mean when it says that the universe is not real? According to physics, for anything to be real, it has to have two attributes. First, an object can change only when something touches it. This principle is called locality in physics. An object moves because some force acts on it. It is touched by a force. It decays because something else physically interacts with it. If it is not touched, it cannot change. If an object A is in one part of the universe and object B is in another, object A has to come in contact with object B in order to change it. It either has to travel to where object B is located or it has to send a signal to object B. Without either of this happening, object A cannot change object B. Because nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, object A or any message it sends cannot travel faster than the speed of light. This is the first principle called the principle of locality. The second principle is called realism. Objects and their properties are real and exist in our physical universe independent of our minds. In other words, we live in an objective reality, not one which exists only in our minds or which takes form only when we look at it. This property is called realism. Experiments in quantum physics show that both these properties do not hold true at the atomic and subatomic level. Two entangled particles correlate their behavior instantaneously, even if they are located across the universe from each other. Since nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, it means that particles are changing their behavior without coming in contact with each other. This violates the first principle, the principle of locality. Let us now look at the second principle. Physics assumes that all objects around us like table and chair have an objective reality and exist outside of us. Their height, weight and other properties are fixed. They will not vary based on who is making the measurement or when they are making it. This is the principle of realism. At an atomic and subatomic level, this is also not true. Particles don't exist in one place or with a specific set of properties like a table or chair. They exist only as a set of possibilities. In other words, particles exist in all possible states at the same time. Only when you make a measurement does the particle acquire a particular shape and form. This defies the second principle of realism. Since the whole universe is made up of particles, by extension, physicists conclude that the universe itself is not real. The experiments conducted by this year's Nobel Prize winning physicists Alan Aspect, John Clauser and Anton Zeilinger have conclusively proved this. They have concluded that the universe is not locally real. It means that neither does it confirm to the principle of locality, nor does it confirm to the principle of realism. The two things that an object must conform to, to be described as real in physics. Because this is such a difficult thing to wrap our minds around, most scientists tiptoe around these implications of quantum physics. They don't usually state its implications in concrete terms. So some people claim that these are just technicalities. Real has a different meaning in physics. Any object that exists only in your head, which appears only when you see it, is not real, isn't it? This is the common definition of something which is not real. That's what realism means in physics too. For anything to be real, it has to exist outside your head. It should have an independent and objective existence. It should not appear only when you see it. There is no difference between the common definition of real and physics definition of real. The universe does not have both the attributes that makes a thing real. Locality and realism. 
what it means is that universe does not have locality objects in the universe can influence each other without coming in contact with each other universe does not have realism universe does not exist external to our minds it comes into existence only when we observe or measure it this is what quantum physics says about the nature of the universe i want to reiterate that i am not talking about vedanta here this is purely what quantum physics says that's it from me i'll answer other questions that you have raised in my future videos keep watching please subscribe and press the bell icon for reminders please share it with your friends and like minded people and others who have had questions like this until next time namaste